Hi friends, this is Ashok. Welcome to Ashok IT. In this video, we will understand how to print duplicate elements of array by using Java program. If you see here, I have taken one input array. In this array, we have several elements. In these elements, few elements are repeated. Those are 4 and 2. We need to find out which are repeated elements. We need to get that output as 4 and 2. Alright, let us see how to write the logic for that. Here, I have taken one Java program, public class demo, and I am taking a main method. Main method is used to run my Java program. In this, I am writing one input array. In this array, if you observe, 4 available 2 times, so it is repeated. 2 is available 2 times, it is repeated. 3 available only 1 time, 1 available only 1 time, 5 available only 1 time. So 4 and 2 are the repeated elements. So how to print only repeated elements from this array by using our Java. Alright, so here what is the logic that I am going to write is, I am going to take this input array. Here I will take a loop to traverse this array. To access the array elements from 0th index, I am going to take one for loop. So here inside this first for loop, I am going to traverse the array value from the 0th index. Alright. So I am going to take one for loop. For integer i is equal to 0 and i less than a dot length and i plus plus. I am going to increment the index value. Now here I am going to access the first value. This first value, I want to compare, I want to compare this first index value with the all the other index values available in the array. 4 I will compare with 2. 4 and 2 not same. So then I will go and compare 4 and 3. 4 and 3 not same. I will compare 4 and 2 not same. I will compare 4 and 1 not same. I will compare 4 and 4. Yes, matched. So then I need to print 4 as one repeated element. Then 4 will be compared with the 5. That means 4 is the 0th index value. That 0th index value, I am going to compare with all the other indexes values. This is 0th index value. This is 0th index value should be compared from the first index value to till end of the loop. Once it is completed, then I am going to take the 2 here. 2 will be compared with the remaining elements in the array. Then I am going to compare 3 with the remaining elements in the array. Then I will take 2 compare with the remaining elements in the array. Like this I am going to take the one element. That element will be compared with the all the remaining elements in the array. For that I am going to take one more loop, inner loop. For integer j is equal to i plus 1 then i less than a dot length and i j plus plus. So why I am starting the j index from i plus 1? Because when a of i is 0th index, I don't want to compare the 0th index value with the 0th index value. I want to compare 0th index value with the next index value. So when the i value is 0, j value will be 1. Then a of i will be compared with a of j. a of i will be compared with the second index value, I mean first index value. a of i will be compared with this, a of i will be compared with this. Once this comparison is completed, then I will take the second element. Second element will be compared with all the remaining elements. So like this we can find out what are the duplicate elements available in the array. So let's implement logic for this. So here array is available. Let me take first loop. Int i is equal to 0. i less than a dot length and i plus plus. First loop. Then I am going to take inner loop for this. For int j is equal to i plus 1 then j less than a dot length and j plus plus okay now here if a of i value is equal to a of j value that means it is a repeated value system dot out dot print ln a of i now let us see is our logic is going to give the correct output yes 4 and 2 we are getting as a repeated elements let me take here 3 also. Now 4 is repeated, 2 is repeated, 3 also repeated. Let's execute it. Yes, 4 and 2 are the repeated elements. I hope you are able to understand the logic what we are implementing. So we are taking the first element that is a of i. Then we are taking next element that is by using a of j. 
always j value will be the next index of the i value a of i means first value 4 a of j is i plus 1 4 will be compared with 2 if 4 and 2 both are same it will be printed but actually 4 and 2 are not same it will not print up once this is completed for one iteration then j value will be incremented j value will become 2 then 4 and 3 will be compared not same then 4 and 2 will be compared not same then 4 and 1 will be compared not same 4 and 4 will be compared yes same then 4 will be printed after that again j value will be incremented 4 will be compared with 5 not same 4 will be compared with 3 not same so inner loop execution got completed once the inner loop execution is completed then i value will be incremented then a of 1 a of 1 means it is going to take 2 when a is a of 1 is available i value became 1 when a of 1 j value 1 plus 1 j will become 2 a of 1 equal to a of 2 that means 2 will be compared with 3 not same then 2 will be compared with 2 because once the j value is accessed j will be incremented first it is going to start here with this it will compare not same then j value will become 3 when the j value will become 3 2 and 2 will be compared 2 and 2 matched then 2 will be printed then 2 will be compared with all the remaining elements also then inner loop will be completed once the inner loop is completed again outer loop i value will become 2 now when the i value become 2 it will consider 3 when the i value is 2 j value will become 3 3 will be compared with 2 3 will be compared with 1 3 will be compared with 4 5 3 will be compared with 3 also it matched then it is going to print that so inner loop is completed then again i value will be incremented i will take here 2 will be compared with all the remaining elements no then 1 will be compared with all the remaining elements no 4 will be compared with all the remaining elements no 5 will be compared with all the remaining elements no like this we can print duplicate elements available in the array I hope you understand the logic. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for upcoming videos.